Outlander Season 7's first part just ended with a perfect episode that left all the main characters in Scotland, although some of them in the past and others in the future. There is too much to discuss about the potential plot lines of the second half of Season 7, but the release date is a much bigger issue. I hope you're not hopelessly waiting for Episode 9 thinking it will be on Stars next Friday. I wish that was true. Unfortunately, Stars decided to break the season in half, even though they had promised to give us a long season. I know 16 episodes make it a long season, but if we're not getting them back to back, is it really a long one? This feels like cheating, for sure. Anyway, let's talk about the release date and what to expect from the following eight episodes. Many people, myself included, have told you that the second part would arrive at the beginning of 2024. But I'm afraid that's not for certain. Stars only said part two would come sometime in 2024, which is as vague as it gets. So, the release date is actually unspecified. I'm thinking of current Hollywood strikes and how they would affect the release date. And to be honest, the picture is not looking good. Since many cable networks and streaming platforms won't be able to release new stuff for the upcoming few months, most new seasons will be postponed. Outlander Season 8 will also be delayed since the writers and the cast won't be able to work on the new season as planned. This means stars could wait to release the second part of Season 7, so there wouldn't be too much break between Season 7 and 8. I hope this is not the case and we get the new episodes as soon as possible. My personal guess is the spring of 2024, so around March-April. For the second part of Season 7, we only have a brief preview that shows a few scenes. The first is our trio, probably right after they get off the ship because they wear the same clothes. Then Claire asks someone if they are in danger, but we can't see who that is so it's impossible to tell. Then we see Roger, who is still holding onto Jemmy's scarf. This appears to be just after he travels with Buck. The next shot of the preview shows Claire, Jamie, and young Ian riding horses in Scotland, probably going to Lallybrock. Then, in the 20th century, Bree cries in a car with Mandy. She may be looking for Jemmy or researching Rob Cameron to understand his motives. The preview briefly shows Lord John Grey, which makes me so happy. He only had two scenes in the first part of season seven, so I want to see him more. One shot shows young Ian with a letter in his hand. Is it from Rachel? Another is Jamie holding a rifle in the woods. I knew this man couldn't keep himself out of trouble. The following scene is of Claire and Jamie kissing, 50 but still going strong. The last scene of the preview is the most interesting because it has a funeral. Whose funeral is it? I don't know. I could only figure out Jamie, Claire, and young Ian. They also wear the same clothes they wore on the ship, so they attend a funeral as soon as they arrive in Scotland, which is weird. While the last scene is shown, Jamie's voice says, A storm is coming. What is he talking about? Maybe an actual storm. I don't know. Apart from the preview, what can we say about season 7's second part? I have too many theories. First of all, Claire, Jamie, and young Ian will go to Lallybrock and see Jenny and Ian Murray but know that Jenny won't be portrayed by the same actor we're used to seeing. Laura Donnelly didn't return to play the role, so Kristen Atherton was cast to play the part. But what will they do there? I'm sure Jamie and Claire won't just live there happily ever after without getting into any trouble. Even though I would love to watch a drama-free romantic outlander, I also know that's not possible. Jamie may have to deal with Lee Ree and how their relationship ended the last time. Also, their stay in Scotland won't last as long as expected. Jamie and Claire must return to America to rebuild Fraser's Ridge, and young Ian must find Rachel. So, I'm guessing they will return to America toward the end of Season 7. What will happen to Roger and Buck? I told you this before. I'm telling you again. Rob Cameron and Jemmy didn't go to the past. I'm 100 sure that bastard is hiding the child somewhere in the future. Probably in the tunnel under the dam where Bree and Rob Cameron work. Rob just wanted to distract the Mackenzies by putting Jemmy's scarf in front of the stones because he knew Roger would go through the stones to look for Jemmy, and Bree would be alone. So, Roger and Buck will go to the past, but Rob Cameron will knock on Bree's door, asking her about the Jacobite Gold's location. Bree will understand that Roger and Buck went to the past for no reason at all, but of course, she will still be afraid because if Jemmy is hidden in the tunnel, he may find his way through the time portal we briefly saw in one episode. Bree could deal with Rob Cameron. I trust her, but I don't know what Roger and Buck will do in a futile attempt to look for someone not even there. Don't worry, I will talk about my theories in a longer video. I just wanted to quickly talk about the release date and what to expect from part two. 
Tell me your own theories in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to next season for more videos like this. See you soon.